Hello, hello everyone. My name is Sumit, and I welcome all of you to BISP Self Learning Video Broadcast Solution. Today, I am going to demonstrate you how to set up a live chat agent for your application in Salesforce. Now, what's the purpose of live chat agent? So, as you can see, whenever we try to connect with a customer care executive online, or if you want to do a live chat with one any customer care executive or any service providers, we can simply click on that link, chat link, and if that customer care executive is available we can start we can start chatting with that agent so i would like to set up the same kind of thing in my application so that my users my client they can communicate with me or they can send they can talk to me uh, they can do chat with me or with a user or live chat agent or any chat agent in my application so let's see how to set up a live chat agent in salesforce so i switch to salesforce and the first thing which I have to do is you need to click on setup. After setup, you need to go to customize. From customize, look for live agent. Click on settings. And when you click on settings, you need to make it enable. So by default, if it is disabled, if it is not checked, you need to check it and click on save. And as soon as you enabled it, it will give you a live agent API endpoints. So we have done this. So we have, I have already enabled it and save it. So once I'm done with this, you can see in live agent, there are various other options appears. So we'll come back to these options later on. Before this, we need to do one more thing. You need to click on users, manage users, users. And within users, you need to uh, you need to enable the user it means you need to click on the user whom you want to Assign as a live agent user so you can see here this live agent user option is not checked and you will only get this option Once you enable the live agent on your in your application So I want to mark I want to assign this user as a live agent user So I edit it and I check this option So I check this option and save it. So it's enabled now. Now I again switch back to customize live agent and click on settings to make sure it is checked. So it's already checked over there. The live agent is already enabled. Then next thing is I need to click on skills. Now before setting up skills, I need to upload two resources two static resources within this application and those two static resources will be the buttons so these are the buttons live chat agent offline and live chat uh, live chat now button so this these two buttons will be visible to the users so that the user will know whether the agent is available is online or offline so i'm going to add these two buttons on my static resource so i look for static resources which is in, in develop option. So I click on a static resources. And as you can see here, I have already uploaded those two buttons, offline chat button and online chat button. So the static resource is ready. Now I again switch back to customize. And now I'm going to set the skills within live agent. So I click on skills and click on new. Assign a name, so I assign BSP skill or BSP service skill group. Next is assign users. So there is only one available user. So right now I am the I am the only user available for the live agent as a work as a live chat agent. So as I add myself as in the selected user section and assign profile select the profile that have the skill so i would like to assign this skill to all the profile users save this so a skill has been set after that i click on chat buttons and navigations so invitations 
then we click on chat buttons and invitations so we need to add the chat buttons so click on new type will be chat button make it active name will be chat button for BSP customer care group routing type will be choice and uh, I would like to make these chat buttons will be enabled for the BSP service skill group so I have got two skills group so I'm the, this that's the skill group which we created recently so I add this language will be English and uh, if you want to make it enable queue enable queue means it says that let the checkbox to be incoming chat request queue up until an agent with request skill is available so if number if more than one user they would like to connect with the service agent and if only one user is available so the next user will be will will be in waiting option will be in waiting until and unless the chatting with first user is not finished so if you want to make it enable I'll make it and I'll check this and there is an auto greeting so I'll set welcome to BISP service or let's say BISP chat service that basically this will be the auto greeting this will be the greeting which user will receive as soon as the as soon as the he logged in into the chat window custom button chat button customization so site for static resources so basically you can customize your chat button by choosing offline and online chat images so first of all I'm going to add the online chat image here so I add the online chat and offline image offline image here so this is this the online one so online chat button and for offline image basically the offline button image I'll go with the offline chat button then site for resources for which site you want to make it enable so here I'm going to select the new candidate registration or BISP training community if you want to make it enable for a community or for any registration so these are the two sites basically uh, how now if you want to know if you want to set a if you want to set a community or if you want to set up a site for your organization you can visit my existing videos for that so I let's say I select with for new candidate registration custom chat page post chat URL and also I'm not going to customize them so I simply click on save and as soon as I clicked on save you can see a code has been generated so it's asking for overall queue length so I'll specify queue length is 2 it means it will be 2 users can be waiting at a time so once I save this you see a code has been generated so I'm going to copy this code so I copy this code and paste it in a paste it in a notepad and save it as an HTML so I save on a desktop in the same folder let's say live agent folder and I'll say live agent dot HTML I'm not going to close it because I'm going to use it right now or just after it so that's how we can set a skill group after this I need to configure the live agent configuration so again I click on live agent configuration Now to do live agent configuration again I click on new and BSP live agent configuration and sneak peek and en enable this option lets agency what visitors are typing before they send the message so if we enable this so I, so the agent can see that what the visitors are typing before they send the message so request sound enable disconnected sound enable notification enable so I check them all custom custom agent name so the customization name of the agent as it appears to the customer so let's leave it as it is auto greeting we can set auto greeting here as well welcome to BISP customer care service and auto away on decline auto away on push up time so I'll leave it as it is and again select the user selected user and for all profiles chat monitoring enable 
whisper message enabled agent sneak peek enabled so it allows supervisor to see what agents are typing before they send message to the customer so if there is any supervisor who is supervising the agent so that supervisor can see that what the agent is typing to the customer sending message to the customer so i leave it as it is i'm not going to add it and this will be enabled for this selected skill is the selected skill bisp service skill group chat conference setting and uh, chat transfer setting so if you want to transfer the setting so i'll leave it as selected for select bisp service skill group and click on save So once I done with this, now I need to deploy it. Now that's the final step. The deployment is our final step. So I click on deployment and within deployment, the code will get generated and that code will be going to share with our user or basically not to the user. We'll be going to share that code with our web application developer and the web application developer will use that code or add that code in a company's web page or in a web application. Now I click on new. To deploy it so that's the final deployment so i write here final deployment and chat window title bisp customer care allow visitor to save transcript you want to allow them to download the transcript of chat so that they can save the chat or not so if you want to allow them you can do that and uh, let's branding image side and all so i'll simply leave it as it is and click on save so once the deployment is done you can see a code has been generated so i copy this code and paste it just after the the code which we have saved previously so it's a complete html file it's a complete html code now if you want to include it you can include it within your some text or you can include within body and title and body and title head and all where, wherever you want to include it you can do that or basically the website developer will be going to do it so i just add it and save it and now i can close it now once i closed it so if i'll open that application you see that's the html page now if i open this with google chrome you can see as soon as the page loads an icon appears here an icon says the live chat is chat agent is offline it means the chat the agent is not unable, available right now and we need to uh, we need to wait till the icon change to online now the thing is we need to configure that how uh, we need to configure that how this live chat agent will enable, uh, will come online and all so we need so to do that i'm going to create a new application for this so i create a new application so i click on apps to set up a new app and i'm going to set up a console app instead of custom app i'm going to set up a console app here so i select console app next give a name bisp let's say service cloud with live agent i give this name assign this name next this is to change the icon of your application the next step will be the change the icon or the logo so i skip it skip this and uh, i'm going to skip this as well this is to add the if you want to add any additional objects in within your application again click on next this in step 6 you can see it says choose live agent settings so you need to make sure to check it and choose the record or page to open as a subset of each chat session so new case new leads new accounts new contact so if you are creating new cases and in that you want to uh, you uh, you want to uh, open the chat agent for new case as new lead or new account or new co separately so you can check them all and click on next i make it visible to all profile users this application basically and click on save so as soon as i click on save you can see the application has been created 
so the application is created and it's a custom and console application so now switch to the application DSP service cloud with live agent application and if you will see when uh, at the bottom right you can see the live agent option is coming when we click on live agent it says it is offline so I click on this icon here and online it so it's a, it means the chat agent is available right now but still if you see this page it says the ch live chat agent is on offline so either you need to refresh this page or refresh the website and once you refresh it again if you found this is offline so the best way to do is close this and open the page again basically the customer they don't have to do it but because they will get the update updated information so you see the icon has changed now it says that live chat now because because my chat chat agent is available right now and now when I click on live chat now it will open a separate window and if I switch back to my application you can see the diff see I got a message that the chat button for BSP customer final deployment so there is a request I'm getting a request from a client so I need to accept it until and unless I will not accept it the session will not start the chat session will not start so I click on accept and as soon as I click on start you can see the chat session has been started and on the left side I have the customer will got a message this is the default message welcome to BSP chat service and I also and this is the message which is sent from my side from the agent side and now the agent and the customer they can start communicating with each other so let's try this let's suppose the agent send a message hello how may how may I help you and you can see the customer can see that agent is typing a message and I type the message and send it and the customer receive the message and if the customer reply back I need a help on my service team send back to the customer So and if the customer click on end chat so if I want I can find the record to attach to the transcript for this chat that's the the live chat agent can do this and if the customer finishes the chat and clicked on end chat as soon as the customer clicked on end chat I got a message that chat session ended by the visitor so that's how we can set up a live chat agent within our application and if you'll see it's still Save live chat now and again if I make it offline and refresh this page again I need to reload the page again so I again open this page so it says offline so this is how we can set up a live chat agent for an application in Salesforce so that's all in this video if you have any questions, if you have any queries regarding live chat agent or how to set up a live chat agent, you can visit our website www.bisptrainings or bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can get back to me to, for your queries. Have a nice day ahead. Goodbye.